on a budget and I'm stalling, crawling, cause I'm nothing, but I'm all in, calling, I'll be something, yeah, I'm getting out, you can leave if you don't like it, say it out loud, you believe it, you can bite this, keep my head down and I keep on going timeless, make it somehow, I believe it when I write this, yeah. Greatest. Yeah. Greatest. Yeah. and I just wanna be famous, yeah, I just wanna be the greatest, yeah, and I just wanna be famous, yeah. Yeah, my hands steady, I feel ready, but my legs heavy, I don't get it. I put my hat and hit it already, still working, I'm still learning, I'm still searching, finally learning something, finally turning something called a profit. If I hear you talking shit, don't get caught in it. I'll be popping off and hit your ass, dropping all your shit. Yeah, I promise this, I got promises, you ain't stopping this, cross my shit, you'll be nothing conscious, bitch. That's the consequence, I got this, I will not quit, and I'm on it, on it, I'm gonna launch quick, and I'm gone, it's just a matter of time before I'm over the line and moving on to my prime. Just quit my nine to five, I'm rocking, they watching, cause it's shocking, dropping all these top tens, I'm so stopping, it's time to live my life, it's time to live my die, wish I could slow down time and just enjoy the fun. It's like eight seconds of delay, mess. Which you read me, how the social media has got me going crazy lately. Everything's inflated, mainly. Everyone's invaded. I can see it's naked, and I really hate it. God, I really hate it. I just want to make it through all this fake shit. Living in the real life, living for some real time. Talk about the real time. I found that online somewhere. I can change the color of it. Anything. Now I can derp around with shit. Is it calling? It's all the way. Oh my god. That's all the way up. 8%. Quality. Uh, mega quality. Okay, maybe very high. Okay. Good credits. There's Discord. Sweet. Go! Shit, I forgot to tweet. Donna, I must tweet. 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 There we go. I have done it. I have tweeted. I do. Okay, uh, let's see. Adventurer, scientist, or journalist? Uh, adventurer, as a dyed in the wool adventurer. What the hell does that mean? You are always on the lookout for the next big challenge. Start off with that, 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 and that. Uh, scientist. As an ambitious scientist, you walk the fine line between genius and insanity. I think that's me. Gloves, uh, rain stick, tent, microscope, eagle. Uh, journalist. As a piece of shit, you travel the world to expose major scandals and lie about shit. You get a uh, thermos full of tea. Uh, 
thing here, pickaxe, gloves, and that particular thing. I think I'm going to be the scientist person. Yes. You have a revolutionary theory. You believe there is an undiscovered source of electromagnetic energy that could generate enough energy to power the entire world. Experts have derided and dismissed your theory of science fiction, but your colleagues' narrow-mindedness only fuels your desire to continue your research. When you learn of a mysterious island that essentially appeared out of thin air, for some reason, you see your chance. According to your initial calculations, the condition... The conditions in the massive mountain range are ideal for an electromagnetic hotspot. The radiation should be the strongest on the peaks. You will need to scale the summits to prove your theory once for all and restore your reputation. Okay. Normal. Hard. Insurmountable. Okay, so I can only play on normal. And I unlock the difficult shit. By beating it. This choice cannot be changed for your run. Are you sure? Hell yes. Mountain 1, Mountain 2, Mountain 3. Scale the first summit and find proof of a source of electromagnetic power. You have to climb the other mountains first. Son of a bitch. Alright, so I'll go on Mountain 1. Uh, Route 1, Route 2, Route 3. Okay, Route 1 has stable ice. Ice terrain provides better grip on this route and blizzard the weather on this route is merciless increased effect of cold weather okay uh, route two sturdy rock stony terrain provides better grip on this route route three unusual phenomenon this route holds many discoveries eerie surrounding shadows and noises follow you on this route you want route three we're doing three Oh, we're doing the haunted bullshit route. What's the stat other than health reaches that I didn't get to read that? Uh, first summit. Ever since you arrived on the island, you knew it was exactly the place you've been looking for. Readings from your instruments are off the chart. Up there, off the charts. Oh, they, we we made charts. This went off of them. Fucking crazy. Even at the base of the mountain, and besides that, reclusive indigenous people. Ah, oh, fuck. Remnants of a mysterious occupying force that kept the existence of the island a secret for years. And rumors of a research station. Can all of that be a coincidence? Okay. Achievement! First steps. You look up at the summit. It will be a long journey, but you are spurred on by the thought that you might finally find proof of the source of the electromagnetic readings you've been seeking for so long. Experience! Yay! Camera control. Little mouse button. Mouse control. Click. Move. Anuses. Oxygen, body temperature. What? Yeah, it is loud as fuck, I know. I know, it's loud in my ears too. Woo hoo hoo, fuck the hell. Sorry. I know, I was having to shout over my own fucking self. Okay. Uh. Well. Okay, S brings us up. Sleep. Uh, let's see. Eagle Eye increases camera zoom until next movement. 150% maximum camera distance. What? Oh, it's me. Look at me. I'm so cute. Hello? Hello? Analysis. Take some time to gain experience. Plus four time, plus 108%. What? Pull down 48 hours. Okay. Uh, that, oh, that just is... I can use four hours to get experience. 
That would be kind of helpful. Maybe not. Maybe not right now. For your skills. Show my skills. I don't have any skills. You're an unskilled little bitch. Got it. Right. I keep forgetting that I can't fucking move the camera at all. Except for this. Um, all right, let's go to the first event here. Okay, and then to confirm the movement, I just click on it again. It's a goat! You encounter a common goat. It's nibbling on some orange. Can I murder the goat? Can I slaughter the goat for food? Chase it away. I approach it in a friendly manner. I walk past. I approach it in a friendly manner. The goat looks at you blankly. You decide to continue walking. Okay, I gained a little bit of experience. I leveled up. Yay! Night climber specialized in night climbing. More efficient in events. Reduce reduced sanity loss in events. Strong at getting the most out of events. No bonus outside of events. Okay. Uh, comfort of home. With consumable items. More experience in events during the night. Uh, yeah, I don't want to do shit at night. Fuck that. I'll take the consumable thing. And then climb down, go up here, or... Anything? I thought I saw something over there. No? Looks like I'm stuck into this route. Anyway, let's go over here. hearing myself. So stupid. Okay, Mr. Eagle. A golden eagle suddenly lands in front of you, its wings carrying it majestically to the ground. Fascinated, you watch it and it watches you too, unafraid. Can't explain but the encounter feels magical. Fully wrapped up in the money, you regain sanity or warmth. Those are crap. Sanity, I guess. Uh, that was the only thing I was low on. Besides energy. Time lapse. Tall little speed in which player move. Only flavor. Yeah. Oh, fuck. You're right. Now we got a treasure chest over here. Yeah. I didn't think about that. I couldn't hear shit. I keep wanting to use WASD. Oh, there's a there's a treasure chest. I really did have to climb all the way down to climb all the way back up. 
Well, that was a waste. Ooh, it's gonna be shitty tomorrow. What's the gameplay? Counter, you once again encounter a common mountain goat standing behind a rock and using its head to point empathetically in the direction you're walking. Is it trying to warn you? I hide behind the rock too. Walking just a few feet ahead of you is a large wildcat. It notices neither you nor the goat. Cool. Thanks, goat. <laughs> the goat saved me from a fucking mountain lion. Let's see. I leveled up. Uh, get more sanity. Gain energy when waking up. Every you wake up, you gain 10 energy. Breathing exercise. Spend some body temperature to increase oxygen. Oof. 25? No. I'm take early sleeper. That's another thing. What are you? You stand under the skeleton of an old tree. Its exposed roots form a hollow that seem to lean lead deep into the earth someone has set traps in front of it maybe they hid something in the hole i disarm the traps yeah disarm the traps you use a thick branch to trigger the mechanism on all the traps making it safe for you to reach into the hollowed tree's roots you pull out a crate and find provisions yay i got canned food and experience nice and food hype Give me. What what do I have? How, how do I check my inventory? Skip no. Help, maybe, please. That other skills critical. You can see path the window. We'll definitely hit the critical status. There's dangerous critical event. Cool. Once your experience reaches a certain threshold, you can level up. You can get multiple skills. Awesome. Normal. Energy cost of climbing increased. Body temperature loss increased. Okay. Meant to challenge you to make difficult choices with various outcomes. Careful when time passes in an event. You might gain or lose stats like body temperature based on the conditions of the mountain. Sleep. Okay, cool. Dope, 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 dope. Basic values. Sleeper account. Okay, cool. How does Jared. What the fuck? Did I use that? I didn't use that. Did oh, I did use that. Fuck me, I'm an idiot. I press the number two button because I'm dumb. Oh well. Eagle Eye increases. Hmm, I was trying to get my inventory. I need to stop just hitting buttons like an idiot. Okay, uh, key bindings. Uh, do, 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 do. Inventory, tab. Tab is inventory. Tab is inventory. Nailed it. That's what I wanted to look at. Hiking staff. 15% time cost on flat terrain, 15% time cost when climbing, plus one height difference. Equipment less than. Uh, more body temperature and moving and searching. Okay, cool. That's what I wanted to look at. I know. I'm gonna ignore it. Don't want to go this way because that leads up this way. I know. But it's not dark yet. I can make it into here-ish. Yeah, that's all I'm looking for. Oh, there's one. There's a cave. Cave right there. Gonna turn night right there. So I'm gonna be night caving. Ready to do some night caving, mouses? 
You ready? Skirt. Here we go. We're gonna do some night caving. Real scared. Oh god, that's terrifying. I legitimately don't like that. I hate it. Hate it. Cave, you enter a cave. It's dry and sheltered from the wind. The rear of the cave, you notice a faint shimmer of light. Uh, okay. Follow the light. You follow the light. As you approach, you realize it's coming from hundreds of fireflies. Fascinating. I gained some sanity. Cool. Turn to the cave entrance. Uh, I lie down and sleep. Cave, no tent needed. Sleep long. Boop. Okay, hope I don't die. Here's my next skill. Okay, I got a specialization. Event expert. Night climber, steep climber. Specialize in moving through steep terrain. Uh, reduces sanity loss in events. You think I should take that? Run a mess? Okay. Robust mind one. Move to right here, because then it'll be daytime. There's a chest there and there's a chest there. Ooh. All right, which way are we going? There's something. Oh, well, we want to go there. Of course, I want to go up. I want, I want to go uppy. Well, I'm already this far over here. I can climb this, it looks like. But these are all sketchy as fuck. There's a safe way over here. Safer way, it looks like. Okay. So, I don't know. I have no idea what a safe way is. And event. Wild herbs. Uh, do I want herbs? These are herbs are thriving in this climate. You're it's like two big handfuls. Next. Nice. <coughs> There's some sanity herbs. Yeah, I'm just gonna go this way. Cause it's like easy climb, easy climb, easy climb, maybe sketchy climb. I've got lots of energy. Why not? Let's do it. Let's take some risks. Can't get to there right now. Right there. I've got to like come up here, come around, and then go down here. Woo! That's going to take a lot of energy. Go up here. There's an event there, but we gotta cross some sketchy shit. Is there a cave around here? There's a sketch thing right there. Okay, so either way I have to cross something sketchy. This one? A two sketchies. Alright. Let's do it. Oh, that way? You're looking on that screen. I'm looking on my main screen. Oh well. <laughs> like you're talking to that asshole. Right here. Fuck! 
Hidden behind a wall of rock, you discover a snowed in shack. It looks abandoned. You must have stumbled across the guard post of the former occupiers. I go inside the shack, duh. There is an unpleasant smell in the air, but you cannot pinpoint its source. Beneath a folding cot, you discover a thick clump of fur with torn out pages next to it. You are just about to take a closer look at the pages when you hear a snarl from outside. Oh, shit. Uh, I look at the pages. They're hand-drawn sketches of cougars. They show the animals in their natural habitats, including mountainous regions. Suddenly, you hear another snarl closer this time. A cougar here? It can't be or can it? Uh, I heard quietly out of the shack, or I stay here and search the shack. Fuck! There be cougars! I don't know either. I hurry quietly out of the shack. Fuck this. You sneak out of the shack and snap! Behind you, you spin around. Nothing. Then a shadowy creature leaps up the rock face and disappears. You have no idea who or what it is, but it seemed to be more fair of you than we were of it. Oh, I lost a bunch of body temperature. Oh, god damn it. Fucking cougar. It's gonna be night. It's gonna be night, and I'm gonna have to use my fucking tent. Uh. I've got like no energy. Maybe. There's a shrine here. Is this thing a shrine? What is that? I don't know what this event is that I'm going to. This one's a shrine that I'm going to? Yeah. Okay. The ghost? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, I'll, I can refill my energy then. If I don't die on this fucking thing. Nighttime. Yay! You fall in a crevice and die. No. <laughs> I'm delayed! <laughs> Shrine! There's an active fire pit, but not a soul around. The flames seem to be fighting the icy wind for survival. Watching the fire dance in the face of the coal is almost meditative. You watch it for a while and regain uh, energy or sanity? Energy. Go here. I should sleep for a little bit. Oh, I'm an idiot. There are buttons down here. And wonder. Northern Lights! What a sight. Regain some sanity and gain a bunch of experience. Nice. Well, that was cool. Uh, canned food and oxygen bottles are more effective. Reduce sanity loss and events significantly. Ice mastery. Reduce energy cost on ice. Now, let's do robust mind. Yes. My mind very, very robust. I think I'm gonna sleep. Ooh, minus 50. Yeah, use tent. Minus 9 body temperature. Yeah, sleep for a while. Oh, now the storm is gone cray cray. But there's another shrine right here. I'm gonna start making my way up this ice bullshit path. Golden Eagle suddenly lands in front of you, its wings carrying it majestically to the ground. Fascinated, you watch it. It watches you too. Again. You regain. Uh, fucking warmth, yeah. Fuck yeah. Give me that warmth. Uh, 
Go that way. That's all sketch. Sketchy bullshit. My little scientist guy just climbing his little butt off. He's like, I, I climb. Climb? I climb. I want to go that way. It's shrine, cool. Yes. There is a cave. Nice. Do we go to the shrine or the cave first? Yeah, probably the shrine. Cause I don't need to sleep right now. Oh, the shrine. And there are some treasure chests over here. And an encounter. I can get some energy back from this. I can just continue on. An old woman sits in front of a crooked hut. She wears a friendly toothless smile and motions you to sit with her to recharge your strength. You do as she suggests and regain health or warmth. Uh, warmth, because I have all my health. Thank you for basically nothing. Later. Woo, this weather sucks. Probably should have gone to the cave and waited it out, but whatever. Keep it going. There's another cave. There's another encounter over here. Unknown fruit. You discover some wild berries on a bush. They're bright in color, orange almost. You hesitate. They could be poisonous, yet a little sustenance would do you a world of good. What it? Uh, I try one of the berries. Maybe? No. That seems... That seems really stupid. Try one of the... Try one of the berries? The berries are slightly tart, but fresh and tasty. Feel them replenishing your energy and strengthening you for the long journey. You're grateful that nature challenges you, yet also takes care of you. Experience energy. Sweet. Okay, can I have more berries? Can I have a shit ton more berries? Yeah, I guess I am. Corpse in the ice. You reach a rocky hollow half covered with glacial ice. As you carefully climb over the sheet of ice into the hollow, you come face to face with a pair of eyes staring at you. You breathe in sharply. The eyes are those of a woman who is almost completely frozen into the ice. Only her face and the top of her torso are exposed. Holy fuck. Uh... Free the corpse. Examine the corpse. I guess I'll examine the corpse. It's a young woman looking into her eyes feels like sinking into a bottomless lake. What happened to her and why does she show no signs of decay? You shake off these thoughts and you feel a small pouch she's wearing around her neck. Carefully you open the pouch and find something useful for your journey. I got an oxygen bottle. Yay! Thank you, dead woman. Dead lady helpful. Uh, let's go to cave and sleep for the night. Ooh, and then I can use my uh, analysis to gain another level. I can analyze something. And maybe make my way over there. Uh, sort of, kind of. I've still got to go way the fuck up here. Way up there. Cave. Winter caves. Dry and sheltered. Uh, explore the tunnel. You want to explore the tunnel, but it's so dark you can't see your hands for your face. Uh, I step into the darkness. And I'm dead. <laughs> 
You crawl through the darkness on all fours. After a while, you encounter some rubble. It looks like the past droid has collapsed. Can't go any further. Okay, I turn around. Uh, I lie down and sleep. Oh, that could have been bad. That could have been so fucking bad. God, that could have been bad. That was so scary. Okay, so it's nighttime now. I'm gonna level up. Uh, let's see, increased maximum oxygen. Ooh, 40% maximum body oxygen. Hell yes. Nice. That's gonna be super freaking useful. And I'm gonna take uh, this thing to change it to daytime. Hell yes. Because I like traveling in the daytime. I can actually flip and see. to go there trying way up there oh there's a bunch of shit over here there's a cave up there thinking about going this way yeah toward that cave and then sleep there for the night I want to go on that. Ooh, shit. That looks like we're gonna have to climb some sketchy shit. Wanted to avoid it. Not really. It's 75. Eerie surroundings. Spooky. Walking on dangerous shit now. Oh no! Rough stone. You hear, hear a couple of loose stones rolling down the mountain. One of them hits you on the torso. Oh no! My health! Ugh! Oh my god. It just keeps freaking going. Holy shit. up there hey okay, the under the cave it's dry and sheltered from the wind you notice a strong smell follow the smell follow the smell but I'm not able to find anything except some tufts of burned bones huh weird uh, leave the cave or lie down and sleep like midday. Yeah, let's keep going. Try and make it up this way. My my rat ooh. Can't can't pass that. I can't can't do that. Gonna summit this damn mountain if it kills me. Oh, 
Oh, can't get over there. There's like nothing, yeah. We haven't encountered a spooky yet. I thought we would get to more spookums. Oh, this is where all the shit is up this route. There's like nothing over here. What do you think? Should we take this way? Goes around the corner. It's a mystery. It looks fun. I think this is fun. I know, right? <laughs> Death zone. The air is getting thin and your breath is heavy. You have entered the death zone. You pause for a moment to prepare for the difficult path towards the summit. I will ascend as quickly as possible. Decreased energy cost for a short time. Decreased oxygen loss for a longer time. Uh, before I ascend, I will mend my wounds. Uh, no, I will take it slow. Decreased auction loss for a longer time. Yeah. Let's go. My wounds don't need to be mended. How bad can a place called the Death Zone be? We're fine. Death Zone. Pussy. Hey, a cave. I see a cave. It's gonna be night, but I don't care because I know where I'm going, kind of. Hopefully I don't fucking die. to the cave. Corpse! Yay! Corpsey! His skin is gray and cold. Thoroughly search the corpse. Thoroughly search that corpse. You find some stuff. I found snow boots! Yay! Got me some snowshoes. 15, negative 15% energy cost on snow equipment. Let's clean it up. Oh, plus three sanity. That's cool. All right, to the cave. Ooh, tomorrow's gonna be a cold one. Ugh. I know, that's why I'm going to the cave. In our cave, it's dry and sheltered from snow. No tent. Negative 15% oxygen. Sleep long. Lots of energy. No oxygen. Holy crap. All right, I think we be summoning. Uh oh. That's a, that, that's a steep ass fucking climb. Shit, now it gets fucking bullshit.
I know. If if I choose that. Because that's like, let's go here. And then we'll take a uh, delicious energy supplement. Because don't I have delicious energy supplements? I can't open my inventory right now. I have canned food. I could use canned food. Uh, right click. You want to use canned food? Yes, I do. Yay. And climb this bitch. A lot of climbing I'm doing. Turned around here to get some equipment, which would be nice. Eagle! Eagle doing stuff. Sanity or warm. God damn it. Fucking useless eagle. Go over here. Yeah, that eagle didn't do shit for me. Fuck that eagle. What's that? Is that another summit? No, it's just a shrine. I'm going up here. Up the bullshit mountain. Hopefully this is like full energy. You get full energy. Or I could sleep. Stone plaque. Half buried in the ground, you find a weathered stone plaque. It seems to be old, very old in fact. Stay and dig it up. Required energy. God damn it. Continue my journey. I don't have it. I literally don't have enough energy to dig it up. Yeah. Yeah, there's a cave. Yeah. cave leading into the darkness uh explore the tunnel or lie down and sleep i just uh hmm. explore the tunnel fuck it you want to explore the tunnel blah, 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 step into the darkness oh you carry some rubble blah, 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 turn around damn it lie down sleep sleep for well it's gonna be night no matter what No, I think I could, but I think I could if I used my tent, but like I can do that farther up the mountain. I am going to need oxygen eventually. We're gonna do the oxygen thing right now. Yeah. Oxygen, yep. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, 
I'm up here. I'm gonna go for that shrine. Just going like one square at a time or one hexagon. Come on, energy. Must be a hell of a view from up here. Melody. You lean back against the rock face. A distant melody reaches your ear. Soft and tender and beautiful. You close your eyes for a moment. Breathing deeply and evenly, you keep listening. The music seems to be coming from inside the mountain. Could it yet be another legacy of the occupiers? Or maybe its origins are more mysterious. Whatever it is, it makes you smile. Okay. Cool, that was kind of useless. Yeah. I think I'm gonna rest here. Yeah. Yep. That's cool. Tent. Yes, use tent. Uh... Need a good sleep. Need me one of them good. Okay, so it's more than, I think it's more than three uses. Just weird how they present it. I did it though! First summit! Yay! You've made it to the summit! You don't waste any time. You switch your instruments on immediately. The rising pitch of the beat makes your heart skip a beat, but then. Reality hits you like a punch to the gut. You might be measuring high levels of electromagnetic radiation, but the levels are still lower than you expected. It's not enough to prove your theory. Damn it! You're tired and depressed. You cast your eyes about aimlessly. A second peak looms behind the shroud of mist. Higher than the first, and just like that, your confidence comes rushing back. You're certain that the radiation levels there will be higher than here. But first, you need to head back and find a safe place to rest and recover. Cool. Wait, what? No. No! Now I have to get down? What the fuck? That fucked up! Weakens the effects of the storm. Gain more energy when waking up. Weakens the effect of stormy weather. Yes. Dude, that's fucked. I have to not die the entire way back? Oh, that is- I thought I was just fucking going on a fucking epic journey! Like a scooter brother! Oh, that's fucked. I'm like legit upset right now. I thought I was done. <laughs> I don't want to climb back down the mountain. It is bullshit. No, 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 God damn it. Oh! Ah! I fucking misclicked. Oh, thank fuck. Woo, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> hmm. 
for you. I don't know what that is. I'll go down the mountain. Wanna go down the mountain. Fuck, it's gonna use all my energy. And I guess I have to. I'm gonna be traveling at fucking night. God damn it. You know, making me go all the way fucking down the goddamn mountain is fucking bullshit when I just thought I was climbing up a mountain. You encounter a mountaineer sitting listlessly on the icy grounds. Did not seem to notice to. Uh, fucking Christ. Uh, I encourage the mountaineer to stand up. It's gonna take a shit ton of Oxygen, time, and fucking body heat. All of which I desperately fucking need. Because I don't get oxygen back. Or I could just leave him here and suffer no fucking consequences at all. He might give me something. That's expensive as fuck. Continue walking. Fuck him. Sorry, brah. You on your own. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Later. You wanna fucking be a mountaineer? You gotta not sit down in the fucking snow and die. No, I'm going the right way. It's over here. I am an experienced mountaineer. Mouses. I have been climbing this fucking mountain all of five minutes. Thank you. Gonna be there eventually. There's daytime. Fucking finally. Watch there be a cave like fucking right there. Fucking shrine right there. Like nothing else. That cave? There's a cave. That looks like a cave down there, right? Treasure chest, hey. God damn it. Every fucking time I'm in goddamn daytime, I have to fucking stop. Well, I don't have my fucking back. I don't have any fucking energy. I don't have my goddamn tent. Cool, fuck it. Press on. 
Fuck, fuck all of it. I have no energy. Just, just go. Just fucking go. I don't even care. So fucking pissed off right now. Every step is torture. If only you could sleep just for a few minutes. My eyes close. The pain wakes you up again. You're lying on the ground, blood rushing to your nose. Great. At least I have fucking energy now. Is that even a fucking cave? Yes, it is. Long crevasse hinders your advance. There's a narrow spot where you could attempt to jump across. Attempt to jump. You make the jump and land safely on the other side. Yay! I did it! I could have fucking died. <laughs> Oh my god. Just want to get to the fucking cave. It's all the way down here. It's fucking bullshit. There's no fucking supplies. You enter the cave. Great. I lie down and sleep. Cave. Sleep forever. God damn it. Whoopee, I have no oxygen. Hopefully this is a fucking, I can hear my heartbeat. That's so fucking irritating. If I can get down below 6,000... Ruins. Nearby the camps are a couple of empty bottled oxygen tanks. You could take time to... God damn it. I thoroughly searched the tanks. Find one oxygen tank. Yes! One fucking oxygen tank. Use it. Yes. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and get down below 6,000 because if I can do that, then my oxygen will start coming back up. Deep snow. The snow belief your feet gives way. You fall but not far. You land at the bottom of a flat snowy crevasse. Great. Wow, this, this sucks. Why would anyone climb a fucking mountain ever? You discover a bird's nest that is extremely unusual at this altitude. You find some herbs in the net. Yay, some useless, useless fucking moon herb. God fucking damn it. Fucking God, seriously. Just get down below 6,000. That's all I fucking want. Oh Fuck. Oh. Oh. 
feel weak and exhausted. You doubt you can continue walking. I continue walking. Extremely exhausted, but you continue walking. Can I get below 6,000? It's right there. That's below 6,000. But no, I have to fucking sleep. I lose all of my fucking oxygen, all of my body heat. Be a little bitch sickle. Death zone left. Yay. Death zone re-entered. Death zone left. Cool. Well, my health is deteriorating rapidly. They, they take away one point of health. Nope. Takes away one point of health that gives me one sanity. They're fucking useless. See? Fucking garbage. Oh, wait, was I not supposed to go this way? Oh, no. Yeah, maybe there'll be a fucking cavern. I'm so fucking enlightened right now. I'm, I'm legitimately fucking pissed off. I'm gonna fucking die! The cold creeps under your clothes. When you check your boots, you notice a blush of dead coloration on your skin. It extends down to your foot. Turn around the toes, where your skin's thin, covered in blisters. You try prying your toes, you ooze out a foul smelling excretion. Oozes. Strange. Doesn't hurt at all. You should be worried? Yeah, probably. I'm oozing. I think I'm gonna fucking sleep for a little while. Like at least like uh, I don't know, fucking ten hours. Oh, at least I get my oxygen back. Hey, at least it's fucking daytime now, right? I'm so positive. Fuck. Look at all the shit over there, where I'm not. Fuck it, just go. Just fucking go. I don't even care, just go. Fucking loser. Fucking dead, frozen bitch loser. Probably gonna die. Whatever, I don't care. Shit it off. Me. Good die. Worst game ever. Stupid. At least I was able to get all the way to here, wherever the fuck this is. Hopefully, this is the end. Yeah, because I barely fucking made it. One. Uh, increases camera zoom until next movement. Whoopee. 
I made it without freezing to death. <laughs> First summit, you make camp in a sheltered depression in the rock. The climb took more out of you than you originally thought. No shit! You will need to rest longer than usual to recover. What good would it do to find the holy grail of power generation if you didn't survive the expedition? Tell anyone about it. Yay! I gained a lot of shit back. Mountain one. Normal. The cold severely troubles you. Your toes are frozen. God damn it. Plus 15% energy cost on all terrain. Plus 15. Not my fucking toesies. All right. And that was our first look into insurmountable. That was fun. I think I'm gonna go scream into a pillow now. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, I might put this up on YouTube. Bye!